Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Silent Hill 3. I get to go to the amusement park. We all remember the amusement park, right? The very beginning of the game where everything was staticky and monsters were sent after us and we finally died on the roller coaster tracks. Yeah, that amusement park. Although, seriously, that place is legitimately fun, especially when we get to a certain place in it. No spoilers, because it's too good to pass up. The moment you hear where it's going to be, you know stuff's gonna go down. Hey, you don't think Pete's Bolorama has anything for us, do you? Where am I right now? That oh, that, that gas station. This is where James got his steel pipe. I'm not predicting that I'm gonna find anything here, but you never know. All right, make a right for the Bolorama, I guess. Alright, alright, not seeing anything too interesting around here. But hey, once again, I said it before, I'll take the fog walking. I know I'm probably running a wild goose chase here, but I just want to see if I can enter the Bolarama. And yes, I'm aware I'm taking the, the back entrance. Are you serious? There's nothing even over here, why would there be dogs? Get out of here. Well, this place sucks. Oh, great. It's just a waste of a dead end. All your only reward for exploration is dogs. This sucks. Oh, that was all kinds of disappointing. And now they're probably going to chase me. If I'm lucky, I might have actually just outrun them. But still, that was disappointing. I'm so disappointed. Ointed. Ointed. Uh, the door? Oh! No pizza or anything. Oh, thanks for nothing, Pete. What good's your bowl around? Uh? Oh, wow, it just cuts to there. That's fantastic! Thanks for saving me a lot of trouble. Also, it's night. I've been running for a while, I guess. You must be this tall to conquer Silent Hill. There is no way it's going to the other world the moment I walk in. There is no way. That better just be a headache. Oh, you can't be serious. I don't even get the benefit of exploring the amusement park as it should be. This sucks. Yeah, lights on. Oh hell. <laughs> I quite agree. I don't know why that part wasn't subtitled, but that's okay. Well, Heather knows what she's getting into this time. I'm sorry, once again it looks like a door and I'm constantly fooled by it. Maybe this time I'll find a map because last time was really a... Uh, oh god, there's a couple Robbie the Rabbit statues. Or, not statues, mascots, animals. Isn't this the mascot from the local amusement park? I don't want to look inside. Something in there smells terrible. Ugh. God, that's really creepy. That's really creepy. I don't want anything to do with that. So many dead Robbies! That's really creepy. Hold on, first I'm gonna see if I can't get this map. I can't go around Robbie. I can't bring it with- oh, come on, don't you have any portable maps? Oh, no. Tell me I can find a map somewhere. Also, let me see this other Robbie. Oh, I suck. Right, right, I have to... Can I walk across this or do I have to go around? Okay, I have to go around. No problem, no problem. Another Robbie thing. I just want to see if the descriptions are any different. Nope. Well, once again, it seems that the bathroom is off limits, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing when I cannot access the bathroom. How about concessions? This popcorn doesn't look right. I don't think I'll be having any, but then again, I wouldn't eat anything else here either. Good point, Heather. Good point. I'm just seeing if there's like a map somewhere on the wagon, anything. Oh, 
I don't want to be lost in the amusement park. There's nothing amusing about the Silent Hill amusement park. Resort town or not, this is going to be just plain un unpleasant, unforgiving. I can't take the map with me. Um, well, restroom's off limits. But there's this door. Just like before. Oh, not just like before. Before there was a dog. That thing's kind of fast. Holy crap. And it's a dead end. Whoa, that was close. Well, those things are much more vicious than before. I really hate that humming. It's unsettling. Uh, that thing's really fast now. I don't know why. Oh, this sucks. Okay, it just freaking killed me. Maybe I better use a gun now. Or maybe I better just get to where I need to go. Again, no game over screen. Just screw you. You're dead. Oh, that's very considerate. It respawns me in the room I was in. Lock's broken. That's okay. Lock's broken. That's okay. Alright, well, we all remember this place, right? Bunch of toys. Two first aid kits, which is quite impressive. I'm looking at something. A rabbit stuffed animal. What am I, what am I looking at? Oh, an ampoule. Totally. Bunch of toys again. I want a map. Like, I feel terrible without a map. I get with the toys. Different things. Door does not work. Quick save. Row of shirts. Nothing of interest to me personally. What am I looking at? Oh! Bullets! Okay, what else am I looking at? Can't quite tell, maybe nothing. Cookies, don't need those. Shirts, don't need those. I could have sworn I was looking at something, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, beef jerky, like I care. Rabbit stuffed animal. Is there seriously no map in this dump? Uh, I don't want to have to go back out the way I came and run into those closer enemies, though. Those things are so unpleasant. Well, that scared the living daylights out of me. Whoa, that's really creepy. And there's no explanation. The sweets seem to have fallen off the shelf and gotten crushed. This was not part of my dream. Yeah, that didn't happen the first time. Yeah, this is this is a new direction now. Now we're playing with power. But what am I looking at? Oh, I'll be needing that. I thought it was a cookie tin, but there's never anything in it but a key. Yeah, this uh, this didn't happen in my dream because you're obviously supposed to die in your dreams. So you could wake up to uh, in a place like it's more creepy than cute. So you can wake up to the beginning of the game. Here, now the game's allowing you to advance, and now I'm gonna die. Oh come on, I think moves too quickly. Huh? That was close. Oh god, this sucks. This sucks, and I still don't have my freaking okay. And I still don't have my freaking map. I see the door, I see the door, I just want to see if there's anything else. It does not appear to be, so I'm out. Oh. What the? I don't even know what that is. Hmm. Well. 
Mountain coaster platform, let's do it. Wish I had my freaking map. Oh man, we're going all the way up. Okay, now, here's the trick to the game. <clears throat> Excuse me, what I'm supposed to do is go into the control room. Once I go into the control room and look at the terrifying meat. The hell is this? I feel like I catch something nasty if I touched it. I better not mess with it, not that I especially want to. Gross. But anyway, once you enter the roller coaster uh, control booth, take. Oh, nice, health drinks. There's a power switch on the left hand side. Yeah. I'm supposed to turn the power switch. Okay, I guess all the way left. Turn it off. Now, when I run down the roller coaster tracks, I will not be automatically instantly killed by the roller coaster car coming my way. See? I could still fall off if I'm clumsy with my controls, because this is an instant death area, but in the meantime, I can run to my heart's content. God, this place is creepy. Like, where am I? Okay, that... I better go. Damn it, Silent Hill! Ah, ah, ah. Woo, that was close. Now where am I? I hired you to find the girl, and you performed serviceably. Interesting. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Hardcore. What lie? That Heather was kidnapped from you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. Damn it, Claudia. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived. Right, the religious cult of Samael says she was brainwashed. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens... Yeah? What's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. Oh, sure. What kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old That sounds terrible. You can't appreciate the good without the bad. Or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise? For castrated sheep, maybe. Ooh. Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. Oh, wow. Hardcore. Douglas. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Hardcore. Then I truly do pity you. Stay tuned for the next episode of Douglas and Claudia. Same Silent Hill time, same Silent Hill channel. Oh god, I'll end it on that. What's worse, that or the freaking metal floor? I can't believe it didn't bounce off this thing. Also, ow. This amusement park sucks. So, do I get a map? Nothing unusual about it. Oh yeah, so I want to check my health. Hey, hey, I look like crap. Let's go ahead and take care of that, why don't we? Boom! Not perfect, but good. Also, creepy sounds. What does that say? The Haunted Mansion. Yeah, that's one of my favorite places in this entire uh, game, actually. 
There's nothing written on it. It's probably supposed to have the rise wait time or something. That place is all kinds of fun. I'm going to show that to you real soon. But first, I want to just check one more time if there's a map or anything. That's just the same thing about the popcorn wagon. Waste baskets, not anything interesting. Alright, welcome to, like, the coolest place in the game. Because the Haunted Mansion, I mean, Silent Hill version, come on. Woo, creepy, just like the kind of little kids would walk through. Borley Haunted Mansion. Step right up, folks, this is a good one. There we are. First I'll save. Well, actually, first I'll check the, uh, the line gates. It's a pretty good setup, actually. I kind of like this place. But there's nothing for me, so... Guess I'll go ahead and save. Oop, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Accidentally deleted my save because I'm an idiot. But that's okay, I'm good now. This is a good place, and it's got a little automated voice. You'll love it. You'll love it. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Now I can keep going, but away from the talk. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Okay, this is just the intimidating, you know, the first room. Get ready to enter the funhouse. It's creepy in here. You're going to love this, I'm telling you. into bloody pieces in this room. Ah, oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to! It's pretty dark for a little kid's place. Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you. That's all. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. Ooh. Cool effect though, right? And so far, this is actually just straightforward, uh, nothing but a haunted mansion tour. Although you like the little letter D in the table, like exhibit D for evidence. Help is written on the wall in blood. There's actually there's nothing to do here but just keep walking. Also, I cannot save. Ooh. I remember this room. I like this room. You'll see. Woo! That's Danny. A quiet young man, but quite friendly as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? God, that's dark. Also, jeez, it's real. This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Who would have done this? That is so creepy. There is a dead body in this room. By the way, as creepy as the old man is, he never actually does anything. He's just here to, like, leave you in suspense and lots of it. I can't go back the way I came, so I'll take the other door out. Can I, can I go this way? There we go. This mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way. And beneath the floor, there's nothing. Ooh. Okay. Well, walk through. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Well played, sir. Especially with the tricking with the floor. Now, I'll tell you this. In harder riddle difficulties... I kid you not, that just kills you. It just kills you. 
I had to look up on a fact how to dodge it. You're not going to believe this. You're supposed to go into your weapon's ready position. See how you crouch slightly? The wall stops just above your head when you're doing that. That is freaking tricky. On easy mode, is just a scare for you. But on hard mode, you actually have to watch out. Well, that was fun. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. <laughs> That's so unsettling. Well, oh, we're out. Uh, huh? That was supposed to be the exit. But it seems What's that sound? no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree with them. Don't be afraid. Dark? Well, I'm out. Woo! Woo! -hoo! Get the hell out of here! Yeah. By the way, if that red stuff kills you, you die. You just die. I mean, if that red stuff touches you, you're you're dead. There's no way out of it. You just have to get the hell. You just have to. Oh my god! That door tricked me. I'm telling ya. That's so crazy. I love this game. <sighs> that was fun. I think it actually respawns me there. Oh, really? Alright, well, that's okay. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. Help. I wonder how quickly I can pass Help. these areas. Oh, nice. This is great. I might have to fall by... I, I might have to fall for the Danny thing, though. Yeah, okay, give me a second. Huh. Well, I'm glad this stuff is skippable. I really thought it might not be. So please watch. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there. I assure you. All right, let's do this properly. That was supposed to be the exit. Let's go. This is so creepy. This game. Oh my god. Get it out of here. And now I'm safe. Wait. Am I still. Really? Oh, come on! I, re I really don't remember this part. I thought there was just one set of rooms. That's, that's a dirty trick. Gah! This is just like the labyrinth where Pyramid Head chases you. Now I'm safe. Oh wait, enemies. This place sucks. Wasn't that cool though? You gotta have it. I guess I'm going this way. Are there more enemies around here? Oh for God's sake. Ah, I deserve that. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm not putting up with both of them. Uh, let's go this way. All right, merry-go-round. Those <laughs> are playing with stuff like this. Is someone getting closer to me or what? Give me a break! That's just annoying. Ah, yes, I'll need to do something with that pole shortly. But I don't have the required tool. Damn it! Alright, that's it. It's time to kill this one annoying dog. Yeah, how do you like me now? Wasting six of my bullets on scum like you. I hope you're happy. There we go. Well, there still is the closer enemy to worry about, but I won't concern myself with that matter right now. 
because as you can see these guys are quite slow. I just need to know where to go. That way it takes me back, right? Is there anything on the other side? Other than a relatively painful death? Oh, that was a waste. Okay, fine. Oh, man. I hate the enemies in this game. Okay, so, where do I... Whoa! So where do I need to go? That's a dead end. There's gotta be some place relatively close to here. And I'm not wasting an entire clip on the closer like I did before. That's a dead end. I can't do anything about the merry-go-rounds, unless I can go to the... Are those stairs? No, of course not. Oh, hey, here's a path. Man! If it's not one enemy, it's another. And yes, I saw the Robbie statue. Or uh, mascot. I'm trying to get the freaking handgun balls. Or maybe I can't. Oh, a breather, and I probably got destroyed. Yeah, wow, I am so close to death. There we go. I really should just start trying to kill stuff. So, where am I? Ooh, hello. Health drink and shotgun shells. That's what I want. That's really what I want. I like this. And what's this? A flyer for a musical for kids. It looks like they did it on this stage. The place is empty now, but I'll bet it was packed that day. Okay, well, let's see what's around here, huh? Let's get up on stage. Oh, that's a cool little shadow I cast. I like that. There should be... Aha! Flyer for a musical. Flyer for a musical. There's gotta be something up here. A hello! A red shoe. That's what I want. And that thing, the way it was positioned, it looks like it was clearly placed there. It didn't just happen to be there. Kinda wish it wasn't so dark around here. Hey! Hey, that's what I really want. A chain. That's what I want. Now I can get out of this area. Popcorn wagon, once again, nothing interesting about it. Alright, now I have what it takes to leave. Or at least I should. Now I just need to find that door that I came through to get here. Well, that shouldn't be that hard, even for someone like me. Hello? It's about Huey the Horse, one of the park's mascots, but that's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. Huh, never seen him, I've just seen Robbie the Rabbit. Kathy the Kitty, one of the park's mascots. Huh. Well, what do you, what do you know? Well, back out, run through the gauntlet. That wasn't so bad. And now I go through hell again. What I'm pretty reasonably sure I want to do is get in here. Yes! Okay, now watch this. I simply go up to this pole. When I can find it. There it is. Now, I take my chain. I attach it to the column. Now I need to take the other half of the chain. And attach it where? Where did I need to attach it? Ah uh, yes, to the swing rocket! No, 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 I... Oh, it might still even be in my inventory. Look at that. I can't use it on the swing rocket? There's a place on the rocket where it should be good. Oh, maybe this, maybe this end. Maybe that's it. Really, I can't use. Well, there's got to be something where I can connect it to. It's one of these rockets. Maybe it's this one. This one? Oh, come on! This is the perfect time to start playing around with stuff like this. Unless it really was just like the stairs, but somehow I doubt that. Yeah, I need to find another half for the chain, but where was it? I know it's on one of these rockets. It's gotta be. 
But where? The handlebar... One of these things has to have a connector. Now I feel silly because I'm running around in circles in, like, the place where I need to be. I'll just try using the stupid thing on... Yeah, what is it? Now I'm just gonna try using it on every rocket. Because this is embarrassing. I know it's no time to start playing with stuff like that. Maybe I need to just go to the control booth. Still, I'm passing a rocket on my way. Ah, it's been too long. It has been too long. Alright, well, stairs. Go in. Oh, hey, bullets. Okay, here's the power switch. Oop. Switch is off. What's the point of throwing it on now? I know, but come on, I want to attach the rocket to some. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to attach it to the door! What a brilliant way of doing things. And as you saw just for a second that the chain was attached, now I start the merry-go-round, or the spin rocket. This really is creative. I'm using the giant column in the middle as a winch. That'll get the door open. That's so creative. Heather is inventive, I'll give her that. Well, moving on through, right? Douglas! Hey! You're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. What? It's broken. What the hell happened? I'll call an ambulance. What? I don't think we'll come. Good point. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You. You old fool! This is a good song, by the way. Like that. Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Yeah, but anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. Mm, maybe not. But if this is how I got a mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Nice. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said... Nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Oh, that's depressing. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing his bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find. Sorry, I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like you. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Dad's 
only I can do this. Hardcore. Even though they're not blood related, Heather is remarkably like her father. Only more brash. Douglas? What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Douglas. That is a reasonable thing, though. You might be right. Man, Heather's intense. She just walks off. That's class. What is it? I just came by to make sure you were still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. Okay. <laughs> he raises his gun at me again. Douglas, come on!